Hey, it's Lucas. Welcome back to the Chan Chan. Mm, 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 mm. I'm chugging this coffee like a high schooler chugs drugs. High School Musical. I'm gonna be watching High School Musical this series. I haven't seen this yet. I'm offended by myself for not watching this yet. How haven't I seen this? I have Disney Plus, I've been paying for it monthly, and all I've done is watch the Cheetah Girls. Mm -hmm. I'm not using my subscription right, and today I'm gonna change that. I'm watching this high school musical series. A lot of you guys messaged me on Instagram. By the way, follow me on Instagram. I post really hot photos. I think I've been avoiding it because I'm scared I'm gonna hate it. It's like how sometimes you don't wanna see a cousin because you're like, I'm gonna start hating them. We've all been there. I don't know if I'm gonna like the new Troy. I don't even know what he looks like. Am I gonna like the new Gabriella? Is Sharpay gonna be to my liking? What about the gay people? There's definitely gonna be gay people in this and are they gonna be good gay people or bad gay people? There's bad gay people. <laughs> what am I even saying? All I'm saying is if it doesn't feature teen pregnancy where a gay guy gets a straight girl pregnant and then comes out of the closet, I don't wanna watch it. That'd be a great song. I'm gay, I'm sorry I got you pregnant. Pregnant Kelsey, but we can still raise it. We can raise the baby still. Let's just watch this and I'm gonna see if it's good. My opinion matters. <laughs> together, 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 everyone, together, together. Is that the new Corbin Blue? Oh. Wait, what? She's watching High School Musical? In the High School Musical, the series? Is this Inception? Oh my God, East High. This mom is a MILF. Our bad. <laughs> All good. No bad. <sighs> if she doesn't have sex with Troy Bolton, the new one, she's gonna. I have a feeling that's gonna be the drama. Every teen show has to feature at least one student having sex with a hot teacher. It's just, it's how it works. I don't make the rules. <laughs> Wait. First costume change. She said first costume change. She's the new drama teacher. What was the old drama teacher called? Wasn't it like Mrs. Machuco or something? Yeah, that was it. My name is Miss Darbus. You fake Stan. I guess Miss Machuco has been fired. Ageism. She wasn't even that old. Like she should still be working here. They already fired her. She might have just quit. Just moved states. But I'm gonna go with ageism. Canceled. It's happening. Hell yeah. Junior year, baby. My girl mustache. Might do a lot of things. Dude, I'm talking about Nini. Today's the day we start over. Was that the new Zac Efron? And I don't know what he just said, but I'm talking about Nini. Today's the day we start over. I don't know what that means, but I'm on board. Do I know who that is, Nini? Girl, I am like 0.2 seconds away from making that my lock screen. I can't tell if you're glowing or you're sunburned. Yeah, I, I had the best summer ever. And what does you know who have to say about this? I'm waiting for the right time to tell him. What? Yo, Nini, what's good? How do you feel about right now? Hey. <laughs> hey. Um, can we talk? I'm a minute and 53 seconds in and there's already a cheating scandal? Sign me up, Disney. Disney knows how to get to my heart. Throw a cheating scandal in and I'll keep watching. She cheated on him with that guy with the abs on her cell phone. The T. <gasps> A high school musical cheating anthem song. I'm in. Oh. Sort of. Yeah? I think it's cute. Huh. Mm. And that's why we work. Oh. <laughs> Check your Instagram. What is this? Just watch it, I made it for you. So they're showing before she cheated on him during summer break, and I guess this is gonna tell us why they took a break. This is the new Troy and Gabriella, I'm guessing. It works. She's not Vanessa Hudgens and he's not Zac Efron, but unfortunately, there would be no replacing them. So these people will do. I'm, I'm okay with this casting choice. I approve, and my opinion matters. Oh no, she wrote him a really romantic song and he's gonna be like scared, because he's like, oh my God, we're dating and we're in high school, but I don't wanna marry you. Wait, she wants to have kids with me? I think I kinda you know, you know, you know. Can't help dreaming of you. Guess I'm saying I don't not love you. <gasps> she said she loved him through a song and he is shook. Me when I had a girlfriend in high school. She was like, is this real? And I'm like, I'm in the closet. Enough about me. I do, Ricky. 
I love you. Oh my, it's too much too soon. So I guess this Troy Bolton guy broke up with this girl for the summer because she loves him, or I have a theory, he might have broken up with her because she only had 12 likes. And he was like, hey, should I go for someone with like more of a pull, like more of a following, you know what I mean? Like he's thinking of it as a business thing. Like I'm collabing with this girl, like we're dating and like she isn't getting the engagement I want. I'd prefer her to have more likes. I honestly feel like that ends a lot of high school relationships nowadays. Thank God they removed the likes. For some reason, my Instagram Instagram still shows the likes though. What's with that Instagram? Everyone I know, they don't have likes on their phone, but mine, I can still see everyone's likes. I still see that Kylie Jenner gets 8 million likes. I guess Instagram just thinks I can take it or they want to torture me. Just kidding, I actually really like knowing. I'm glad they haven't taken away my likes. You're blowing me off for some theater punk you met four weeks ago at a lake? You kind of dumped me. It was a break. It wasn't a break up. I I'm sorry, Ricky but it's a breakup now. They're officially broken up. I feel like she's gonna reveal she's pregnant. She's gonna be like, yes, we're broken up. Yes, I saw someone else during the summer. And yes, I'm having his baby. And yes, I want you to raise it with me. I should write these shows. You crushed it. That could not have gone better. I love like these side characters in these shows. Cause like, does she have a life? Where's her summer? What did she do during the summer? What about this guy? What about his relationships? <laughs> like how they just, the side characters only care about the main character's lives. Like they don't even have their own life. They're just invested in the main characters. You know, that even applies to real life. Are you a main character in your friend group or a side character? Think that one through. This is a nightmare. Everything is terrible. Love is dead. I like how they talk to the camera. Like, is this a documentary or a reality show? Or like a vlog? I feel like this is a vlog or like a TikTok. And they're gonna reveal at the end, like this was just one big TikTok. Seniors will be allowed to wear baseball hats on Fridays. And now for a special introduction. This year, East High has a new drama teacher with an announcement. That guy's the gay guy for sure. Oh my God, I cannot wait to meet him. I wonder if he sat like that or if the director was like, make sure to like sit a little gay, you know? So like they know you're the gay one. My name is Miss Jen. And when I heard that the high school where High School Musical was shot had never staged a production of High School Musical, the musical, I was, Shocked. This is some inception shit. The drama teacher is excited to have the musical High School Musical performed at the high school that High School Musical was filmed at. So this show is in a universe where they've seen High School Musical. Like it's a movie. It's not in the same universe as the original High School Musical. Are you following? I'm shook. I'm sweating. I'm frazzled. And meet your student choreographer, Carlos. You know him as captain of the color guard. I know him as an unpaid rising star. But seriously, I have no budget. The gay guy hasn't talked yet. Imagine if she introduced him like, you all know him as the high school's gay. He's every girl's gay best friend. And he's secretly having sex with the quarterback of the football team. Imagine if he's not even a gay character and I'm just being like super stereotypical and problematic and I'm gonna get canceled after this video. As the school's resident high school musical historian, I basically have zero chill about this right now. I've seen the original movie 37 times and the first 15 minutes of both sequels. Oh my God, the gay is finally talking. I'm not gonna call him the gay, that's offensive. Carlos is finally talking and he has a pink locker. My dream in high school. It is time to go full V Hudge. Oh, okay, uh, no, no, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I mean, obviously you're gonna get Troy, but I don't wanna jinx anything. Uh, that doesn't sound very Nini 2.0 to me. Babe. We're a package deal here. Wait, so she's dating this guy now? This is the guy from the summer that she cheated with. The chicken's been in here for 10 minutes. It's colder than when I put it in. Call mom. We're not bugging your mom. It's like 9 p.m. in Chicago. She can't still be in a meeting. Okay, I'm calling mom. Don't. She doesn't want to hear from me right now, okay? What? What? She just... She just needs a couple more days in Chicago, dude. His parents are getting divorced? At least they'll be able to sing about it. My parents are divorced. And then like an EDM track, dee 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 dee. And he like goes into a dance. Like relatable, you know, to other kids who have divorced parents. I'm excited to watch that. Shouldn't he be on an airplane right now to Chicago? Shouldn't he be fighting to, to save this? 
Nope, he's not fighting to save his marriage with your mom because she found a prisoner online that she fell in love with. And she told your dad that there's no way they'll be able to salvage the marriage. Have you seen Love After Lockup? That's what his mom's doing, I bet. I hate when that happens. I just think it's weird when people like burst into song in the middle of the street. Dude, that's a musical. Okay, look. I'm auditioning for this thing tomorrow, and nothing is gonna stop me. Oh my gosh! He's gonna audition to be Troy, even though Gabriella thinks her new man's gonna be Troy, so he's obviously gonna get the part, she's gonna get Gabriella, and they're gonna be forced to kiss on stage and rekindle their love. Oh my god, the auditions. This is honestly bringing back flashbacks to me. <laughs> traumatic flashbacks because I actually auditioned to be in High School Musical, The Musical, in Omaha, Nebraska as a teen. And I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be great. I'm for sure either gonna get Troy or maybe Sharpay's brother. But like, if those two roles don't work out, I'm at least gonna get to be the Cramboulet guy. The guy in Stick to the Status Quo who's like, I cook. And everyone's like, yay. Like I was like, at least I'll get that one line, that one solo. Needless to say, I ended up being basketball player number four. It was still fun. It was a great experience. Experience. Like it was honestly so much fun. Every play I've ever been in, I was an extra, but it was still so much fun. I'm not mad about it. I remember there was always this thing though, whenever I was in a play growing up where like all the extras, like we would kind of hate the leads. Like we'd be like, yeah, the guy who plays Troy sucks. We're like, we all could do it better. His parents probably have an in with the theater company and that's the reason why he got it. Like we'd all talk mad shit because we were jealous that we were in the background, but it, it was fun. Want to take it back. There's nothing for you to be nervous about. You went on on this summer for the lead role with 20 minutes notice. You didn't miss a beat. You did that yourself. You've got this. I really appreciate that. Oh my God, I'm doing it again. Yeah. Oh, she's too nervous to audition. The classic storyline. And we're all supposed to feel bad for her. Like, oh my God, give her the lead role. No, she doesn't deserve it. She's nervous. She's gonna have stage fright and ruin the whole production. She needs to be a background actor for a few years to get used to being on stage. This girl, regardless of how annoying she is, should probably get the lead role. She's more experienced. I'm sorry, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. We're all set on Troy's. We're low on Chad's. You can read after the Gabriella's. I, I, I only studied the Troy scenes in the movie. Troy would have arrived on time. Up uh, now her ex-boyfriend's probably gonna get the part for Troy, even though he's never done theater before. <laughs> Give it to him anyway, it's fine. The theater kids who have been doing this since they were 10 don't deserve it. Let's give it to the new guy who's just doing this to win back a girl. I'm pissed. Okay, Nini, let's try this again. You got this, babe! Woo! Oh, oh! What? All the lights went out? Is this the beginning of The Purge? Can you imagine if like this exists in The Purge universe and they're like, oh my God, we forgot The Purge is starting. That would suck. They all just die. Living in my own world Didn't understand that anything can happen I never believed it. Oh, she's a great singer, it turns out. Just once in one of these shows, I want it to be realistic. And the girl who's really nervous to sing, sings and just sucks. Like she just isn't good and everyone's like, wow, now we understand why you were so nervous to sing because you're bad at singing. Like that's how this was at my high school. Like people would be like, I'm so bad at singing. Then they would sing and it's like, oh yeah, you are. That's how real life goes. But honestly, I'm happy this is how it is because it's a show and we all need an escape. <laughs> here goes. Total wild card here. I don't get it, Troy. What kind of spell is this elevated IQ Temptress girl cast that suddenly makes you want to be in a musical? Oh my God, he sucks at acting. They literally just did what I wanted them to do, like show a realistic one. Oh my God, Disney is with it. We're on the same wavelength. You can't stop beating yourself up for totally blowing it with her. What's this in the movie? And look, Troy, even if you never said the L word, to Gabriella. But now he's really good at acting because he's improvising and just like talking about his real life relationship with her, which is like, oh, cute. But like, also when we do the actual musical, you're gonna need to read the lines. You're not gonna be able to just go off on your little improv about your real life because that won't make sense with the story of the play we're doing. Just happen, think of what we've done. 
In the time that the earth has traveled round the sun. He's singing his own song. Again, like, love your song, but we kind of want to hear what you sound like when you sing the songs of the play we're doing. You know how we can talk all night and not run out of things to talk about. It's rare that something feels this right. Oh my god, he's singing a song to her because she sang a song to him earlier. Why have I never been in a relationship where we sing songs to each other that we wrote? Like, this happens probably. Like, can you imagine, like, who are two singers who are dating? Jay-Z and Beyonce? They probably every other week sing to each other, rap to each other, and like it's just personalized songs. They're like, yeah, I liked it Beyonce last weekend when we went to the library and you had that nice ass. Like, but more romantic, you know? And then Beyonce is like, oh, Jay-Z, you look so good right now. Like that just happens at dinner, like. Well, let me tell you about the old me. All right, the old me had her heart broken. Okay, and then she went away, and she found herself, and you don't get to show up now. Oh, hell yes, girl. She's so right. He broke up with her because her song wasn't good enough, and she didn't get enough Instagram likes. She goes off, dates an even hotter guy, and now he's mad. Okay, sis, you only want what you can't have. You had me last year, and you didn't give a shit. Now you don't have me, and suddenly you want to be in the musical? Okay. Take a step back, son. I'm so on board with her standing her ground, even though I know they're gonna end up together by the end of the series. Oh my God, the cast list is up. Holy crap, dude. Oh my God. Can you imagine if it was all this buildup and he ends up being the creme brulee guy? <laughs> Buckle up, Wildcats. It's about to get real. Did they just cuss in front of the East High sign? It's about to get real. Oh my gosh. I need to go to church. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. That shit was lit. It had everything I wanted. It had cheating, pregnancy. It didn't, but I bet it will. You know, it's a lot different from the OG high school musical, but I kind of like that. They went in a whole new direction. There was a purge moment. Like literally, who knows where this will go? I'm excited. I'm definitely gonna keep watching this because I need to see the episode where he does his divorce dance. Thanks for suggesting me to watch this. Don't forget to subscribe, comment below what you think Zac Efron thinks of this series. I bet you he hasn't even watched it. You know how like Zac Efron like kind of pretends like he wasn't in High School Musical? It's like, boo! They all did like a reunion where like they did interviews and stuff and he wasn't a part of it. Zac, get your shit together. All right, thanks for watching. Bye!